Life is like a box of chocolates. There are many different flavors. So when the times are rough, you need to stay positive because you could always be getting the caramel one coming up next. But then I realized in the vlog I just filmed, I have some crust on my lip from the chocolates. All right, so I'm gonna do this video a little bit more vlog style, so let me know what you think about it. So three pieces of advice that I recommend to improve your training that I hopefully haven't talked about before. I don't believe I've talked about any of these, but uh, I wanna know what you guys think. So uh, first piece of advice, try training with uh, some people or just someone else, a partner, a training partner, who's better than you. This will help push yourself. Now you don't have to do this every time, and I know this might not be convenient, but maybe once in a while, train with someone who's better than you. This really helps push you, and the studies show that if you train with people or a partner who's better than you at something, you tend to get better, and they tend to stay the same. <laughs> this is actually great for um, activities like b-boying, breaking, tricking, parkour, free running, because usually people are better at different things, so people can learn off of each other. You know, one person might be better at one thing, one might be better at the other, and then you guys end up improving your weaknesses with each other. But for weight training and stuff that's more um, specific, it might be a little bit um, more one way. All right, second piece of advice. This one's gonna be kind of sound a little bit counterintuitive. Take a break once in a while. Take four days off, four to five, maybe even a week off, once in a while, maybe like every three months. This gives your central nervous system, body, and just everything a break. Now I know the recovery time for a workout is supposed to be 48 hours, 48 to 72 hours, so that's one to two days, depending on the intensity. However, just from my experience, when I've gone on vacation for four or five days, you know, I've gotten scared. I was like, oh my, I'm on vacation. When I come back, I'm gonna be weak sauce. But I come back and I'm actually stronger or my moves are better. I think it really has to do with those extra couple of days off and just actually taking the extra time off to allow your central nervous system and just your full body, like intracellular. Maybe once every three months, take four days off and then see what happens. Third piece of training advice I have for you. We often get so wrapped up in our heads. I think maybe once in a while, just sit there, close your eyes and think about f your full body from head to toe, fingertips, go through your arms, just travel your mind throughout your whole body and realize that it's all one piece. And that'll help you with um, movements, balance, coordination, also strength movements because compound movements, you know, any compound lifts, any compound body weight training movements, any um, break dance, parkour stuff, you gotta be full body awareness. If you're just thinking of your head and your arms, you're gonna be all up here when all down there is gonna be all, you know, mermaid. So you gotta think. And you gotta utilize full body connectivity. Seriously, it sounds so hippie. I know I'm getting in that hippie realm right now, but just close your eyes, think full body connectivity. It really helps me out a lot. Um, those are those are three pieces of advice that I really haven't talked about before that I would recommend just taking, thinking about, maybe applying. Um, that being said, I'm gonna go train <laughs> with nobody. And I haven't taken four days off in a while. And I'm all up in my head, in my tunes. So, hip grit. <laughs>
dear wild. So am I. Bodyweight beast. That's it, I'm done. It was then I realized the crust was still there. Just like life that sticks around and doesn't leave until you leave. Even though I may have had a bad session, been feeling really fat, got really cold and made a stupid decision to do bodyweight beast outside in the snow, I still had a lot to be thankful for. A lovely wife, friends and family who love me and care about me, and my wonderful subscribers. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Daily uploads Monday to Friday. Peace. You all have a good one. But you gotta focus.